My name is Zara Moore. I coordinate the Wetlands Restoration Program at Common Ground with Heather Love. Um, this year we've done over 12 plantings. Uh, we've worked with the uh, Barataria Terrebonne National Estuary Program, um, the Department of Agriculture and Fisheries, and LSU Agriculture Center. The Department of Agriculture and Fisheries provides the bulrush, typically in a trade gallon pot, which is three quarters of a gallon. Bulrush is a uh, deep water, freshwater grass. Um, it's used for erosion control and shoreline stabilization. When you're in an area where a boat wake is going to be there from boats coming through, the bulrush can provide a buffer so that that wake doesn't reach the shore with quite the same intensity and erode the shoreline. Volunteers remove the uh, plant from the pot and load them onto the boat, which is provided by the department. We take the boat out to the site, which in this case is Lake Cartouche. Other times we plant in natural bayous or in canals. We throw the plants off of the boat and volunteers jump off at intervals to plant the plants. And then after we're done, the Department of Agriculture and Fisheries comes back to monitor the site for success. Also, at other times we may use different plants. Some of the plants we've used are smooth cordgrass, giant cutgrass, seashore past palum. The plant that's used depends on the salinity, the type of soil, etc. In the lower ninth, we're right beside where the levee broke. The reason that the levee broke has a lot to do with wetlands and it has a lot to do with a canal called the Mississippi Gulf Outlet. That canal runs to our north and all the way into the Gulf. This canal brings in the salt water. It's a process called salt water intrusion. It kills freshwater plants and as they die off, the wetland actually sinks and disappears into the Gulf. If you look at satellite images of Louisiana's coastal wetlands, you see holes, and those are the areas that have just been lost. So when a hurricane comes over the wetlands towards New Orleans, there are not enough plants, not enough trees in the way. The hurricane just rips across open water, slams into the levee, and it breaks it. So that's one of the reasons we're really concerned with wetlands restoration. It's the first line of defense against a hurricane even before levees. Without wetlands, levees can't do their job.